Is your business about to launch a new product, service, catalog or event? Well, one of the best ways you can do this is by launching an email campaign to reach all your contacts. This will ultimately allow you to drive engagement, interests and conversions. Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome back to this channel and if it's your first time joining me, thanks for dropping in. Now today I'm excited to share how you can simply create a free email campaign using Canva. Then I'm also going to share how you can then send this campaign to your audience using MailChimp. Okay, so before we go ahead and launch into Canva, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that happy note out the way, let's go ahead and dive into this email marketing tutorial for beginners. <music> Okay, so first what we're going to do is create an email campaign and we can do this completely for free with the free design tool called Canva. Now if you're unfamiliar with Canva, basically think about Canva as an online platform that you can use to design and create any kind of business materials for your business. And Canva makes it incredibly easy for anyone to create their own designs. You can simply create business presentations, you can create social media posts for the different types of channels that you use, you can also create videos, newsletters, flyers and more. What you can do is simply navigate up to search your content on Canva and search any design that you want to create. Canva also offers thousands of templates that you can use to build from rather than just building from scratch, making Canva the perfect design tool for complete beginners for individuals with zero design experience. And if you're completely new to Canva and you currently do not have an account, simply head over to your browser and type in canva.com and that's going to take you here or feel free to click the link in our description below this video. Now once you've arrived inside Canva, in this search bar what we want to do is type in email. And what Canva will do is generate a list of the different email templates that they offer. Now we can go ahead and click email marketing because this is essentially what we're getting involved in today. Creating an email campaign and sending that to our contacts is a form of email marketing. Or what we can do is create an email newsletter that we then send to our contacts through MailChimp. Today what we're going to do is go ahead and select email newsletter and Canva will generate over 700 email newsletter templates that we can choose and design from. So go ahead and select an email template if you like or simply navigate back up to the top and click on create a blank email newsletter. And this is where we can start creating our email campaign. Now if you're completely new to Canva or you have very limited design experience when it comes to creating and designing email campaigns, then I suggest you navigate over to the left hand side, make sure that you have templates selected and scroll through all these different pre-made templates that you can simply choose and then design the way that you like. For the purpose of this tutorial, what we're going to do is go ahead and locate an email campaign that we're going to build from. Now I like the look of this campaign here, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and click this and then select this first page here. Now this is an attractive, compelling and seamless email newsletter template that we're going to use today for our email campaign. Now under these two templates, what we can do is navigate down to template style and if we click here, that's going to shuffle the template font and the template colors. So for example, if I click here, you can see that the template colors and the font will change. If I click here again, that again is going to shuffle the template style. However, what I'm going to do is use the first option. Now we can also navigate down to add page and we can add the second page to this template. And we're going to use both these pages within our email campaign. Now to customize our email campaign, all you need to do is simply click on each of these different elements. As you can see, they're highlighted every time we hover over each of these different elements. Now to simply customize these elements, simply click on the element and that's going to generate these formatting options up here. We can change the font style, the text size, the text color, and we also have these other options up here. 
and I like the style of this template so all I'm going to do is change this name the default name here to my business name and for the purpose of this tutorial the business name is going to be beautify you again we can simply click on these text elements and change them if we like you can also change the background color by simply navigating up to color in the top left hand corner and you can choose from the colors over here you can see the photo colors or the template colors down here however i'm happy with the default background color now we can also replace each of these images with either our own images by simply clicking upload and uploading our own images or we can navigate down to photos and because this is a makeup and cosmetic business what we can do is simply navigate up to search and we can type in a keyword related to our business so for example i'm going to type in makeup and canva will generate these suggestions down here i'm going to go ahead and click makeup and then all I need to do to replace this background image here is simply click on an image that I like and then drag that image and replace this image here. And I like the look of that. I can also replace these little images down here by simply clicking on an image and dragging that down onto that particular image I want to replace. Now we can also navigate down and zoom in to get a better idea of what we're working with. I'm also going to navigate up to this element here and change the text here and I'm happy with that so what you want to do is take the time to go through the email campaign template that you selected change all the different elements based on your branding for example replace all the images the product images with your own products add your own descriptions and once we've done that we can download this email template and what we want to do with this newly designed email campaign is download the campaign, then upload into MailChimp. And what we're going to do with MailChimp, which is an email marketing platform, is send this email campaign within MailChimp to our contacts. And within MailChimp, what we can do is link a booking form to this section. So if someone clicks on this section, that's going to take them to a sign up or a booking form. We're also going to make these other sections responsive. So for example, if someone clicks shop now, that's going to take them to our website where they can shop for our products. And we're also going to ensure that our contacts can click on this section, which will take them to our Instagram account. And then again, we're going to do the same up here, which is going to send people to our online store. And because everyone's email campaign is going to be completely different, what you want to do is take the time to create your own email campaign. Make sure that you have call to actions. What do you want your contacts to do when they click on your email? Do you want them to visit your online store? Do you want them to sign up to your email list? Do you want them to follow all your different social media channels? You need to identify what your call to action is. So again, take the time to create your email campaign. If you navigate over to the left hand side, again, we have templates. This is where you can view different templates. Simply type in a keyword related to the template that you want to use. Then below this, we have elements. We can simply search for specific elements that we want to add into our campaign. Then again, we've got uploads where you can upload your own content. Below that, we have text. This is where you can add different text. To your email campaign below that again we have photos then we have styles down here this is where you can create your own style with your own colors based on your business's branding then we have more options down here which we're not going to cover in this tutorial however if you do want to learn more about how you can make the most of canva what i'll do is link a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description that will guide you through how to make the most of this powerful free design tool Okay, so when you're ready to download your new email campaign, simply navigate up to share in the top right hand corner, then navigate down and locate download. What we're going to do is navigate up to file type and we're going to click JPEG. This is because JPEG is a lower file, which means that our images in our email campaign will load a lot quicker when our contacts click on the email. On the other hand, if we decide to use PNG, the images will be higher quality, but they will take a lot longer to load. Then come down and select your pages that you want to download. Now, because we're going to use both these pages for our email campaign, we're going to keep them both selected and come down and click done and then click download. And that's going to download our entire email campaign. 
Okay, so now that we've designed and downloaded our new email campaign, what we're going to do is head over to MailChimp, which is a free email marketing platform that we can use to send this email campaign directly to all our contacts, our entire audience. So what I'm going to do is jump into my MailChimp account. And here we are inside my MailChimp account. Now, if you're completely new to MailChimp and you currently do not have a MailChimp account, simply head over to your browser and type in MailChimp.com or feel free to click the link in our description below this video. Simply take your time to sign up to your new free MailChimp account and we'll meet you back here. And for all those that are interested in learning how to make the most of MailChimp for email marketing activities, what I'll do is link a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description that will guide you through all the impressive features that MailChimp offers in terms of email marketing activities. Okay, so once you've signed up and signed in, what we want to do is create an email campaign. To do that, simply navigate up to create, then click on email and come down and click on regular. Then navigate down and name your email campaign. I'm going to call this July sale. So depending on the type of email campaign that you want to create, go ahead and name your campaign accordingly. Then come down and click on begin. Then first, what we want to do is make sure that we have the correct audience selected. This is the audience, the group of contacts or your email list of all the contacts that you want to send your email campaign to. Then come down and make sure that you have the correct from information, so your name as well as your business email. Now because I'm using an existing account, I'm just going to use this Gmail here. But again, like I mentioned, for branding it's important to have your business email. Then navigate down to add subject. Simply go ahead and add the subject of your email campaign. For example, 50% off July sale. You can also add an emoji like I've done here. Then navigate down to preview text. This is a small bit of text that your contacts will see just after the subject line. And again, with your preview text, you can also add an emoji. What I'm going to do is come down and click save. I'm happy with my subject line and my preview text. And finally, what we can do is design our email content by adding the email campaign that we created within Canva. To do that, simply navigate up to design email. And under select template, what we're going to do is navigate down and locate basic one column. And this is where we can add our email campaign that we created within Canva. To do that, what we're first going to do is delete some of these elements. So for example, I'm going to go ahead and delete this element here. I'm also going to navigate up to logo and delete this logo element here. And what we're going to do is leave this and up here we have the option to leave the social follow. Basically you can click this pencil icon to edit and add your own Twitter handle, Facebook handle or your own website down here. You can also change each of these elements. For example if you had a YouTube channel or let's say you had an Instagram account you can simply go ahead and add your information in here for the footer of your email campaign. So we're going to leave that for now and click save and close. Now it's really straightforward and easy to use the email campaign that we created within Canva. So to do this what we're going to do is simply navigate up to the image block up here, simply click and drag this element into the header and then navigate over to upload image. Then simply navigate over to upload in the top right hand corner and then locate your email campaign. I'm going to click on the first page of our email campaign and then click on open. And as you can see the first page of our email campaign that we created within Canva is now uploaded to MailChimp. Now what we want to do is navigate up to edit. And what we want to do is crop the different sections of our email campaign. That way we can link each of the different sections to different destinations online. So for example, I have custom selected over here. I also want to turn off lock dimensions and then simply navigate over to the corner of your campaign, click and drag to the area that you want to crop. I'm going to go ahead and crop this area of my email campaign and then click save. Then what we want to do is go ahead and click link and we want to link to a web address and then down under web address we're going to add the URL 
of our shop, our online store. And this is just an example of a URL that you would add. So this is your website URL that will take people to your online store. I'm going to come down and click insert. And now, for example, if I send this email campaign to my contacts and a contact opened up this email and let's say they clicked on shop now, then this is going to take them to my online store. Also, if they click any area on this email campaign, that's also going to take them to our online store. OK, so we're going to repeat this again by navigating down and clicking save and close and then navigating up to image again, clicking and dragging the image block below the header and within body. Then navigate up to upload image again. Then what we need to do is go ahead and upload the same image because we've already cropped this image over here. So go ahead and click upload and locate your email campaign again and then click open. Give MailChimp a moment to upload your image. And as you can see, we've added that email campaign in again. Now this time what we wanna do is crop the bottom half of this email campaign. To do that, simply navigate up to edit again. And like we did last time, make sure you have custom selected, come down and turn off lock dimensions. And this time we're gonna navigate up to the top corner and drag this element down here so that we crop this section of this email campaign and then click save. And as you can see, we now have two sections to our email campaign. Now with this image that we just added, what we want to do is go ahead and click link. And this time what we want to do is link this section of our email campaign to our Instagram business account. And as you can see, I've added the Instagram business account for this business. Then if I come down and click insert, now if the contact opens our email campaign and they click on this part of the email campaign, that's going to take them to Instagram where they can view our Instagram business account. So I hope that makes sense. That's why we're taking our email campaign that we created within Canva and then we're just cropping the different sections so that we can link each of the different sections to different destinations online. Now for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and add one more section to our email campaign. So to do that, simply come down and click save and close. Then navigate back up to image, drag the image block, and we're going to add that below the follow us on Instagram section. Then navigate up to upload image, and this time we're going to click upload, and simply upload the second page that we created for our email campaign within Canva. And then again, what we need to do is crop the section of our email campaign by navigating up to edit. And this time what we're going to do is crop this email campaign to here. So let's say I decided I didn't want this section in my email campaign. So I'm going to go ahead and just crop this section here and then click on save. And as you can see, we've added the third section of our email campaign. Now what we could do is get people to sign up to a different email list, a different audience. It could be a different newsletter that you send out to your contacts or maybe you're about to launch an event and you want people to sign up for that event or maybe a product or service launch and you want to build a list of your contacts that are interested in that particular product or service. So what we could do is simply navigate up to link and this time we have the option to keep web address selected and we can add the address of the landing page that you want to use to collect your contacts information. Or you can navigate up to web address, click here, and we can navigate down and we can click on landing page. Now MailChimp also allows you to create a landing page completely for free that you can use to capture contact information. So for example, you can create a landing page that's used to collect your contacts information, those that are interested in a specific event, product or service. And if you're interested in creating a landing page with MailChimp, what I'll do is link a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description that will guide you through this process. Okay, so what we're going to do is come down and click insert. And now our email campaign is ready to send. I'm happy with this. What we can do is come down and click save and close and then navigate up to preview and then click on enter preview mode. 
and this is what our email campaign will look like. You can see we have the first section here. If the contact clicks here, that's gonna take them to our online store. If we navigate down and the contact decides to open our email and then click on this section here, that's gonna take them to our Instagram page. Then below that, if the contact decides to click on this section of our email campaign, that's gonna take them to a landing page. And then we can also navigate up to desktop. So this is what our email campaign will look like on desktop. We can also preview what this email campaign will look like on mobile. You want to make sure that your email campaign is responsive across devices. Then what we can do is exit out of this and then click on continue. And that is an example of how you can create an email campaign within Canva and then use that campaign within MailChimp to send as an email campaign to all your contacts. And when you're ready to send your email campaign, simply navigate up to send to send your email campaign now, or you can schedule your email campaign to be sent at a later date. It's as simple as that. And there we have it guys, that is it for this brief Canva and MailChimp tutorial helping you create and launch your first email campaign. Now if you have any questions about this tutorial make sure to pop them down below and with that said thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.